Okay, here's a real simple melody uh, so that the thumb picking and the coordination make sense. I'm just gonna play this very simple melody. This stays on four beats, three, four. I'm gonna go scale up and scale down. Here we go. Two, three, four. Very, very simple. That's just a simple melody. So you're playing on and off the beat. Here, you'll notice I've, I've brought my uh, my middle finger into the into the mix. This is something that each individual player is is going to play with a little bit. I know with classical technique, um, the general rule of thumb is your ring finger plays the top string, your middle finger assigned to the second string, and your index finger assigned to the third string. That's a general rule of thumb. You can stick to that, but it's gonna, uh, everyone has their own way of doing that. We can get into those details another time, but. And we can start bringing other strings. Anything that is keeping your thumb constant, and this is playing on and off the beat. You can come up with your own melodies, but you've got a matrix basically of one and two and three and four and. And as long as this is staying constant, you can play with that. As long as you know what the goal is, and the goal is that this stays constant and this plays on and off the beat, then you can have a field day with, with all of that. All right, I have shown you some of the exercises just using the bass string. What I want to do now is go on to using the fourth string. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two and four are now going to be on the full string. One two, three, four, and actually, since we're gonna play an E chord here with our left hand, that thumb is gonna brush the third string. So we're getting more of a, a, a chord. We're almost like we're playing ragtime piano, ragtime stride piano. We've got a little bit of a chord with the, uh, with the left hand. So we're, we're gonna brush that chord here. actually brought the fifth string in here but this is what we're looking for again one two three four that's a little exercise there Or we can do even a little hammer on here. That gives it a little bit of a different feel, a little smoother. Again, if we count where the beats are, one and two and three and one and two and three and. Now what we can do, we can add that fifth string, one, two, three, four. On beat three is when the fifth string is gonna come in. In all these exercises that we're doing, the key point is you have to be really honest with yourself. Did you nail this? got very exact notes to play and uh, 
you've you've got to make sure that you're doing exactly what it is. Don't let your thumb don't don't let your thumb get away, because this these are the kind of mistakes that you can that you can make. And I've seen it with various people who are trying to train their their thumb and their right hand to behave. There'll be something like this. The thumb wants to pinch with those fingers, and that is something that you've got to train it not to do. And the only way to train it not to do that is to slow right down, almost to a zero tempo, and make sure that it is not doing that, because what you don't want to do is reinforce a bad muscular habit. What we're trying to do is train these uh, fingers and the thumb to behave so you've got to be very aware of what it's doing. If it's doing something, if your thumb and fingers are doing something naturally that is wrong, then we have to untrain them. That's a tough thing to do, but it's the, the only way to do it is to do it very slowly. simple we can play little anticipated things there this is very typical of this style but the most important thing you've got to get used to is, is playing that groove and sometimes uh, we went from Six four six four two six four five four fairly quickly there, but make sure that your thumb is very aware of what it's doing. simple uh, basic Travis picking um, have fun with that do your best to try to keep it slow and keep it accurate because that's how you're going to get the furthest uh, the quickest uh, I think it was it's Art Perlman that said um, slow down learn faster <laughs>